Jam School Remix. I don't care how smart you are at math, you'll look even smarter if you pull this. We're gonna have a little bit of a mathematical race. Now, I honestly can't see whatever you're writing on here. We're gonna make a list of 10 numbers, and then you're gonna draw a line underneath, and you're gonna add up all 10 numbers. To make it interesting, though, I want you to write down the first two numbers. It can be any single digit numbers you want. So, so write one, and then write the next one. You got those two? You got those two. All right, now again, I want you to take the first number of the second number, add them up to get a third number. Now take the second and third number, add them up to get a fourth number. Third and fourth together, to so get far. a fifth. Keep on going until you have 10 digits. Let me know when you need a calculator. Last one. Last one, all right. Okay, cool. You all got right. it? Yeah. We do a three-way race. You have to use your mind because you're the tax genius. You get to use my calculator you're because you're the word man. I am not gonna have the benefit of pen and paper. I will not have the benefit of a calculator. I'm just gonna try to rain man. Ready? One, two, three, turn it over. It is 1,012. For real? See if I'm right. See if I'm right, bro. Oh, he just got it! Just after I said it! That's awesome! Do you want to longhand it to make sure I'm right? No, I'm okay. Are you I'm, good. I'm good. It? it genuinely is totally fair in that you picked any two numbers you want to start with. What do you got? Six. Six and two. two. Okay, now you'll notice there is an algorithm to what we're doing as far as making the numbers. We take six and two and we end up with eight. We take two and eight, we end up with 10. Eight and 10, we end up with 18. 10 and eight, we ended up with 28. Now, are you guys familiar with the Fibonacci sequence of numbers? Crops up in nature. This is the exact same algorithm, only you guys pick whatever seed you want. No matter what two numbers you put at the very beginning, this sequence with this algorithm, the seventh number down times 11 will always equal the total. I'm not sure I can do 46 times 11 that now quickly. That's the other thing, right? There's two parts to this, right? Now that first part is an important piece of information. So 46 times 11, that sounds complicated. Turns out there's a super simple trick to multiplying any two digit number times 11. You take the two digits and you break them out, one to the left, one to the right. So it's four blank six. In the middle, you put the two of them added together. Four plus six. Now in this case, you would get four, 10, six, but you can't have a two digit in the middle. You keep the zero and you kick the one over. So it becomes five, oh, six. We'll do an easy one. 23 times 11 would be two, three, and two plus three in the middle, or 253. Huge, huge thanks to my friend Kurt Anderson for turning me on to this one. It's the kind of thing that once you know it, you're gonna wanna try it every single night with everyone you meet, but you mustn't. Otherwise, you'll have no friends. Scam School Remix brings you the best over over eight years and 500 plus episodes of the series. You can dive into the complete archive or join us on our new adventure as Jason Murphy and I attempt to become the ultimate modern rogue. Equal parts gentleman, warrior, and scoundrel. Can we do it? Probably not.